Hi, my name is Mike and I'm going to show you the IBS treatment plan that this person used to get rid of all of their irritable bowel symptoms. In this video, we're going to go over what is IBS. Do you have IBS symptoms or do you have colitis or ulcerative colitis symptoms? We're also going to go over what is the cause of IBS symptoms and then what is the best irritable bowel treatment plan to get rid of your IBS symptoms. Now what is IBS? IBS is a combination of different symptoms such as diarrhea, constipation, cramping, pain, <clears throat> bloating, and my favorite, <clears throat> gas. Now the difference between IBS and a more serious condition like colitis or ulcerative colitis is that the colon, when they do a colonoscopy, um, somebody with IBS won't have all these other things going on. They won't have severe inflammation. They might have light inflammation. They won't have polyps and growths and all these, uh, all these other things going on. So IBS is a more minor form of colitis. Now what is causing these IBS symptoms? There are two things that we need to take into consideration. We have the intestinal muscles and the colon itself. The colon is lined with muscles. And this is kind of a big surprise to a lot of people because they don't show up on a lot of an anatomical charts. Now, if you go on major medical websites, they're gonna tell you they don't know the cause of IBS, but they suspect that stress is a huge contributing factor. And a, a brilliant German doctor named Dr. Hammer, he discovered that everybody with IBS, if he looked in their brainstem on a CT scan, he would see a ring in the exact same location 100% of the time. And this ring would show up shortly after a conflict shock, a stressful situation that caught them off guard. So people with constipation and bloating, their conflict is something hard to digest in their life isn't moving forward. Now imagine this is the brainstem, the oldest part of the brain, there's something not moving forward in our lives. It literally thinks something is stuck in their intestines. So what it's going to do is it's going to put pressure behind this thing that's not moving forward, it's going to clamp really tight to push it with more force, and then it's going to expand the passage in front of it, which creates the bloating symptom. And this muscle behavior will continue forever as long as this hard to digest thing in our life isn't moving forward. Now, when this thing in our life starts to move forward. Maybe we're closing a deal on a house. Maybe we're getting out of a bad relationship. Maybe a, 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 a tough project at work is finally moving forward or coming to an end. This now has to go into the healing phase. You know, th the muscles are gonna start to cramp. There's going to be pain. There might be diarrhea. And there's also going to be gas because, you know, gas was getting trapped up here. So now there's going to be gas. The healing symptoms are proportional to the length and intensity of the conflict active phase. But if the stress in our life remains resolved, then these, sim the, these healing symptoms will go away in just a few weeks time. So what is the best treatment plan for IBS? There's going to be a lot of medications recommended for you and these medications can help you manage these symptoms. But the ultimate way to manage your IBS symptoms, your irritable bowel disease symptoms, is to get to the root cause, which is in your brain. Your brain controls your gut and it's the stress in your life. You need to find a way to handle this stress better in a more healthy way. And so I have a 30 day program. It's absolutely free. All you got to do is go down in the description and click on it. And I'll show you everything. I'll show you the IBS treatment plan that this student used right here to get better. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for videos that get to the true root cause of your digestive issues.